100.9 The Creek Row Music Row Radio, Creekside Mornings. Tony Doolin, Charles Davis, that is J.D. McPherson. Yes, uh, Crying's just a thing that you do. It is. So, uh, Alex Von Coitel is here. The Coitel! <laughs> Good morning, doing? Alex. Good morning. How are you, man? I'm doing well. Good. Doing well. Uh, Thank you. We're going to talk about the uh, season. You brought a very special guest this morning. I did. Coach Leo Thomas. How's it going, guys? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm Coach right. Leo, man. <laughs> uh, he texted me asking if I was coming in, and I thought, what better way to show him that I was coming in than to bring the head coach to the making? It makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Good choice on you. I appreciate it, Alex. I appreciate it a lot because I got some things I want to talk to Coach about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There are some things I want to discuss. It's always good to see you, Coach. You too, man. It's up, been a while. It, it has been a while. Up front, um, there's a lot of stuff going on this week for the mayhem. A lot of uh, a lot of booster parties, a lot of things like that. There will be no line chain show tomorrow night. That's correct. It saddens me, but it's, it's you know y'all got it's busy. You know, coach got interviews to do, and y'all got parties to to go to. So yeah, yeah. we just I mean the boosters are a huge part of our audience yeah. that comes to line change, and they're throwing a party for us tomorrow night. So I, I wouldn't want to do that to them. And, Completely and understandable. Yeah. Tear them up internally. True. And I want to talk about <laughs> the booster club specifically because uh, Saturday night they were recognized for the fourth year in a row as being the number one booster club in the SPHL. All right now. Oh yeah. All right. Ring the bell for that. Ring the bell for that. <laughs> yes. yes. But they seriously good. they they give a lot of support to the team throughout the year that you don't see. Oh, yeah. They're preparing meals. I mean, it's it's insane the amount of work that the booster club puts into the making man. Oh, even in the summer too. I mean, yeah. they're they're getting all the furniture out of the apartments. They're cleaning all that stuff for the guys and making sure that uh, when they come back for training camp, everything's set up and. Um, they really do a great job for our team, and um, that's why they continue to win it yeah. every year. And so. it, it's not only just the players either. I mean, like when I got here, I had Kyle, the president of the Booster Club, offering to help me with anything I needed, mm. mattresses, furniture, equipment, wow. anything. And, you know, for, for people who are coming in from way up north, like hundreds and hundreds of miles away from here, not knowing a whole lot of people, that just makes a world of difference. So. Yeah, that's a I huge bet. deal. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say up front, I would join the Booster Club, but I ain't helping anybody move. No, I'm I too know. old for that. <laughs> I had to do that my first uh, couple of years, but mm. it's all right. So uh, <laughs> Friday and Saturday, uh, we dropped two straight to the Knoxville Ice yeah. Bears in the playoffs, uh, knocked the mayhem out of the playoffs. But if you look at the big picture, um, Peoria's gone too, so there's yeah, that. Yeah, I know. That, that makes me a little, I don't know, happier, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a little easier to take it. A little easier to take it. Yeah. Man, Consolation. Yeah. yeah. No, that was a tough one. A but tough uh, one. congratulations on a great season, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Wish I could have got the result I wanted, but um, I learned a lot this year, my first year. So Yeah, I was going to say, this is, this is one of those foundation building block years, so you, all you can do is build off of this. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely, man. Uh, take all the positives and stuff that I learned and just come back stronger next year. Yeah, and here's one of the things that uh, I think is the great takeaway is there are there are people who have uh, who have this year gone to their first mayhem game and become fans because yeah. all it takes is that one. Yeah, you're right about that. And yeah. I think that's really the takeaway is 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 growing hockey in Middle Georgia, growing the fan base for this team, and you've done a great job of that. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. And so, the fact I, that you know, your players are just so accessible as well, and that's <laughs> the great thing with line change and all that, and y'all doing things in the community. They're not faces that they don't know. They The fans really truly believe they know these people. So that's going to make them come even more. More, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you know, Alex did a great job in his first year here also. Absolutely. Uh, just continue to build on it, man, and, and make this a better yeah, year after year. I think you heard from uh, Trask and Seymour and a few guys who have been here for years and, and what they were saying about the Saturday attendance that we had, especially towards the end of the year. And it, Trask said it was uh, you know better than he'd ever seen consistently yeah. mm-hmm. towards the end of the season. I mean, the, the place was packed pretty much every Saturday. And you know our playoff game, which we didn't have a lot of time to promote, still got a pretty good turnout. Good. So we're Thank really you. happy about the support we've been getting the, the towards the end of the year here. And we look forward to uh seeing it continue to grow next season oh yeah oh yeah now next season um you know obviously we're going to be getting uh hopefully getting a jump on the uh line chain show yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. you know we launched that toward the end of the season and it grew yeah it was huge every you know, week exponentially yeah yeah, mm-hmm. no, no. yeah so now y'all have got those those couple under your season now next season we started off it should be jam-packed for the season premiere of line change absolutely <laughs> um one of my favorite things was uh you know for the first couple of uh of line chain shows checking in coming back um, running upstairs to the office, coming back down, and at the end of the show, seeing you, Coach Thomas, and the players taking photos with fans and kids. That was just one of the really cool parts, yeah. I think, about line change. No, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Well, I'll tell you what. We have uh, here at the Creek, 
and uh, Creek Media. We have really enjoyed being your promotional partner this year. Uh, we're looking forward to some big things next year. Mm-hmm. A couple of things we haven't announced yet. We ain't going to talk about. Uh, we've been in the brainstorming stages. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Tony's not. How do you feel that. about getting in dunk tanks? I just got to ask you that. Oh, that's cool, man. All right, good to- Leo, don't. Oh, okay, now. Well, yeah, he's committed it. to that, Alex. I, uh, you heard that. It's water, man. Mm. Okay. Well, see, there's. <laughs> see, you didn't say what kind of yeah. liquid was in there. You just said you get in the dunk tank. You just said you get so, in the dunk tank. That's all yeah, I'm saying. It could be chocolate pudding. It could be vodka. We don't know. No, sure, seriously. Oh, okay. I'm good with those two. <laughs> that's all good. We're squared me. away. <laughs> not sure if, if I've seen that combination before or not. Yeah, yeah. Hockey and dunk tanks, but I like it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, as I always say, the first year, anytime you. Uh, you create a partnership. The first year is all about survival mm-hmm. and just getting through it. And the second year, you can look at what you've done and expand on that. Yeah. I think we've got some great ideas from next year. I'm looking forward already to the 2019-2020 season. Me too. I'm excited, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing all of your exit interviews with players today and kind of yeah, figuring hope, out. Kind of, yeah. I'll be at the rink for a few hours today. And um, I'm sure, sure some guys are going to want to get on the road here in the next uh, few days. So. Yeah. Got to get all that stuff taken care of, and like like we said earlier, the parties and um, got some schmoozing to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, six to eight p.m. tonight at Amici. All right, y'all come on. All right, there you go. Mm-hmm. And uh, Alex, thanks for uh, coming in every Monday morning this season and hanging out with us. We're gonna miss you <laughs> on Monday mornings. We are. I mean, I have to take you off my schedule now because you won't be back next week. I'm gonna sit here at eight thirty and look out in the lobby and go, "Where's Alex? Where's He's not here. <laughs> I miss him." Yeah. So yep. And but, I'm going to turn over in my bed and be like, why am I not at the creek right now? No, you're not. You're going to sleep. <laughs> I'm going Stop back by. to bed. This time <laughs> you're, fine. Fine. you're not. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> well, thank you guys for all that you do uh, yeah. for making and oh. making mayhem. Coach yeah. Thomas, great season again. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. And thank you guys, man. No, no problem. I can't wait to be back here next year, man. Mm-hmm. And Alex, it's always reasonably good to see you. <laughs> I love you, Alex, as always. Too. It's always uh, good to see you, buddy. All right. Be watching you. for some big announcements as uh, next season rolls yeah. along. You guys enjoy the... Uh, End of season party tomorrow night. Here's uh, Devin Gilfillian. Get out and get it on the creek.